right. It's blanket time. Python on hardware news. The big news, there's lots of, there's like all, it's all big news. But, so much news. Um, the big news is we have a 401 beta and circuit Python is now so fast that we have multiple graphics. So this is fast blanket. We also have blanket with goggles and, and a rocket pack. Maybe we'll put that in. This one is a nice. Week. This is fast, fast blinka. But um, right Four now, one. yeah, you can expect um, two to five times faster, and display refreshing will be a bit faster too. Definitely, if you're doing anything with the Pi Portal graphics, you have gotta try out this new beta it's one. So fast. And then uh, just for basic computation, we've also sped that up. It's just Python running, if all the CPU computation stuff, that's two to five times faster. So okay. big speed up. So get a lot of functionality in 4.0 and now 4.1 and above, we're speeding things up, fixing yeah. bugs. Okay. Making better. Shout out to all the interns at Microsoft Garage and Microsoft Vancouver. They're doing a cool project. So over the summer, there's going to be better, easier, faster ways to use CircuitPython and Visual Studio code. Yep. Now, this is kind of, I think, an enormous trend that's happening. So on Windows, you can now just get Python. Come to Windows 10. Yeah, you can get um, in the Windows Store, just download it. And also, VS Code is free. VS Code is free. Used to be not. Now it is. So they're doing a survey. And the survey, and I'll just read what they uh, posted up. Hello there. We're a group of interns at Microsoft Vancouver working in the garage. We're looking for insights into your experience around physical computing projects, as well as your interest trying out a new method of development for your project. Say goodbye to waiting for your code to building a pile inside the Arduino IDE with C, C++. Python is here to help. The survey will only take three to five minutes, and your insights are very valuable to us. I took the survey. It requires no personal information. I took the survey, too. You can just do this. I'm going to put the link in the chat right now. Please, 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 if you use CircuitPython in any way, These please, people please, please, please want to do <laughs> development they want to make VS Code the best editor for CircuitPython yeah. and Python on hardware. So even if you use MicroPython, maybe, or you use whatever, you do, whatever, whatever you do. even if you're, you are you Arduino, maybe use Platform.io. Yeah. They want to know what you like and what works best for you and any, any hints and suggestions. This is your chance to give them suggestions before they start writing a lot of code. Yeah. So you know all the things you don't like about other IDs? Now's your chance to say, or things you do like. here's what I want. Here's what I want. Um, they will listen. So uh, thank you, Microsoft Garage. Thank you, Microsoft Vancouver. Some thank ID you, editors Anna, don't listen to you. Who got the word out. We have some blog posts and more. Sweet. 8 8 2019 at CircuitPython Day. We have a lot of stuff going on. Watch the site and more. That is um, our day that we're doing each year. Maybe we'll change the day, but um, this one looked super snaky. So we it's said, a snake. 8 8 is 8, 8 so is snaky. what we're going with. Um, it's the most curves. Some other events upcoming in July, very soon. Congratulations to Radomir and every attendee at EuroPython gets a CircuitPython powered pew pew badge. Gamey badge. Yeah. It's, so it's got um, up, down, left, right, and A, B buttons and an 8x8 eight eight matrix. So um, Deshipu has been working so much on all sorts of really cool ways of writing games in CircuitPython, um, like the stage library and, and micro game. Yeah. And, um, what's neat is it works great as a badge, so people can make their own games, share code, plug into a computer, it shows up as a disk drive, drag and drop games back and forth, so I can't wait to see um, what games come up, and of course this will be on our Blinka download page as well. Next up, uh, we posted a link to Scott's slides. There is a uh, presentation and all the files from um, the Python Language Summit from PyCon. You were in a video, Lady Ada. I was. This was the video from... To fear. Yeah, it was from the Red Hat Summit where you won that award. And this is me, Adafruit founder, Lamar Freed, Open Source Hardware Revolution, the TFIR, Open Source and Emerging Technologies podcast, video podcast. Uh, so the circuit Python was discussed and more. Um, other news, and uh, I'll talk about this a bit more, but we have the 4H base kit in our store, which happens to run CircuitPython. And we'll talk about some announcements that 4H and Google made in a little bit. Um, we have Odroid. So this is a guide. Odroid C2 supports. We're yeah. adding more single board Linux computers. All of them are a little bit different. Uh, so it's kind of an adventure, but we're making them all um, supported under the Blinka library, which means all of our CircuitPython libraries work on it. So if you want to use um, from our Stemma soil sensor to an OLED display 
to a thermocouple reader, all of the sensors and, and uh, seesaw boards and crickets, all those will now work using just our plain libraries. You don't have to worry about like weird compatibility layers. Um, it just, you know, plug and play, the same code will run on any Linux computer. So very exciting and we're just adding boards one at a time. If you have a favorite board, uh, comment up and tell us what board you think we should add next. Okay, this is, uh, I, I keep an eye on some of the popular electronic YouTubers, and this is a big deal because there was a video that Andres did that said, hey, is it time to say goodbye to the Arduino ID and say hello to MicroPython, CircuitPython? And this video shot up the charts. It's only a few views away from being the number one video out of all the videos that he did all of the years. So the previous top one was radar sensors, and this one shot up the charts. So that just is a good indicator for us. 350,000 people viewed it? Yeah. Wow. Okay. So yeah. 350,000 people are interested in yeah. Arduino and CircuitPython. That's right. Well, Python they're, and hardware. Well, they're mostly interested in like, oh, cool. Like, what are the benefits of going to this Python world? And I think a lot of people shared it, and that's why it's popular. Um, thanks, Gizmodo, for noticing um, our Bygamer. So Gizmodo posted up. Adafruit just made it really easy to build your own Game Boy. So they showed um, all the... Uh, Pi Gamer stuff we've been up to. Yeah. And um, they had some examples and linked to all the yes. different things. It is gaming season. It's gaming season, yeah. and this summer is a perfect time. You're out of school. Um, you've got Make Code Arcade. You've got Arduino. You've got CircuitPython. Um, and then there's you know, tons of ways on the desktop with uh, Pico 8 or Pi Gamer or Love 2D. There's never been a better time to want to design games. You can design games. Okay, next up. In the world of community and people writing software, this is kind of cool. This is a uh, Quick Connect. Um, this is a Quick uh, I squared C potentiometer, and this yeah. person submitted a Circuit Python library so that you can use um, both um, this board, which is the joystick board, and then also the relay board they did yesterday. Uh, to CircuitPython, and they're in the community bundle. So we have yeah. two bundles for our CircuitPython library. Um, the Adafruit bundle, which we maintain and support and, and add you know, examples, and, and we make sure with hardware that works. And the community bundle, we'll take almost every, anybody who wants to submit it to the community bundle, please do, we won't test it, but you know we'll make sure it, it passes the basic uh, Travis CI um, checks that we do. But uh, please submit, if you have your own sensors or devices, uh, give us your libraries. We'll add into the bundle, and we'll automatically generate MPYs for uh, Circuit Python for you. And this is from Four Sticks. F Four Sticks. U R S T I X on GitHub. Um, also, I bundled these up. This is uh, from SparkFun. They did a really neat DIY capacitive touch uh, nightlight made with Circuit Python. Yay! Circuit Python so. makes projects like this so easy. Yep. Uh, JP was posting up some things that he was doing. This is a MIDI. Uh, thing that DIY mini feather wing happened to work with circuit uh, Python and a feather M4. Uh, yeah, like those big headers. Using the white headers that we yeah. we stock now. Yeah, that's kind of cool. And then let's see. Also, uh, this was um, a way to use. Uh, this was a community update to, for Visual Studio. Yeah. That someone made. We're getting there. This is Python, and then there's the REPL, and it's a serial REPL. Yeah. So this is good. Uh, please try it out if you're using CircuitPython or MicroPython. You're going to love this. But again, hopefully, you know, we can get some of this code maybe integrated into Visual Studio and, and well supported on all platforms. This is from our forum. So if you look for console based serial terminal for Windows Visual Studio code, you'll find it. Uh, this is neat. This is a like home security laser system, and it's u it uses Circuit uh, Python. Good. It's a HomeKit compatible laser tripwire, and it uses a particle board. Uh, this is kind of cool. Uh, this is from the coding couple, and they made these little um, cute avatars of themselves, and they also have their their name badges. So I've been watching their their tweets. So follow it in the newsletter and on our site, and you can see all the things that they're up to. They just got Pi badges and Pi gamers. Neat. Lit City DIY. This is the IR controlled robot rover, the finale. So this is a multi part series. Um, of videos, and you can uh, check out the uses a trinket, and I it's an IR remote, um, seesaw, and a custom PCB, and it's coded with Circuit Python. This is um, from the Advanced Engineering at St. Margaret's uh, School program. Uh, they made a display that uh, they program that shows the next highest elevation of the past of four satellites they are getting images from. 
Oh, so that's really satellite neat. monitor. I yeah. like how they're keeping with the space theme. Yeah, space. And then this is kind of neat. This is a um, this is a nightmare. What for is some. going on? <laughs> uh, <laughs> but this is an animatronic singing skeleton with a cricket, and it's coded in Circuit Python. So I'm going to just play a little bit of the video here. And then this, I, I'm, I'm interested in different IDEs and like what, what's working out with IDEs. You see the KB toys of IDEs? What's going on here? It's, it's called the KB IDE. It's an open source IDE that supports ESP, IDF, Arduino, and visual programming for the ESP32 boards. Interesting. Uh, it's at kbide.org, kbide.org. And, um, you know, I downloaded it real quick. I'm just like, what, what, uh, what's going on here? I like that the board manager has photos of all the different boards. Yeah. That'd be cool for other IDDs to add. Neat. Uh, next up, this is Jupyter Notebooks with the ESP32. This is a MicroPython. Um, there's a bunch of events coming up. We already mentioned EuroPython. That's coming up. The Open Source Summit, that has Python on hardware. Microbit Live 2019, that's coming up. September 13th through 17th. Uh, this is UK PyCon? Yeah, this is PyCon UK. Palladium, 2019. More UK? Um, we did a, a, a by the numbers post. So we have about 60 boards right now that run CircuitPython. We have 15 or so um, Blinka boards in the Linux SPCs. And then we have over 150, 160 libraries. So things are going pretty good. If you look at circuitpython.org and you go to slash downloads or slash Blinka, um, you'll see a lot of stuff. Since the, I worked on the show, there was more boards. This is circuitpython.org slash blinket. We have all the Raspberry Pi boards in. Um, so things are things are heating up. Lots of people are using CircuitPython. Um, the classes are still going on with Codecademy if you're interested in taking a course. And that is it for Python on Hardware News Bam. this week. Oof, lots Killer. Of stuff, lots of stuff going on. All right, well, thank you. Okay.